Hey, what's up guys? Look, I'm starting a YouTube channel and um, it's going to be a little bit different than what you might have seen before. So I, uh, I want to talk to you guys about life pretty much, but through the lens of business. So it's a lot of talk that's going to be about business, uh, real estate, uh, investing, personal finance. Um, but really, it's a, it's a discussion about life. So I'm going to talk about a lot of different life topics. But, um, you know, I felt the need to create this because I saw, I guess, in, in this space, you know, people who go online and talk about real estate and investing and stuff like that. Uh, it's too it's too kind of polished for me. <laughs> you know, like it's cool. I, I really respect, you know, the hustle and the grind and everything that they're putting in. But, you know, there's a there's a balance and a trade off at the end of the day. In, in all content creation between education and entertainment, right? So mine is going to be entertaining in a different way without, hopefully, you know what I'm saying, without the, the clickbait and the, the polishment, I guess you could say, of it all. So, you, you know, you'll see. I'm, I'm over here. I'm just in my office. I'm, I'm shooting off my phone. I haven't got a haircut in a minute. You know, I'm wearing sweatpants. But it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? Like, at the end of the day, like, I'm really trying to hone in on that education part. So hopefully that's what allows, you know, kind of this channel to grow and me to continue making videos about my life, kind of, <laughs> kind of, and like just spreading, spreading the information. So, um, you know, like I said, that's why I started the channel. And one of the first things I want to talk to you guys about is how did I buy a house when I was 22 years old? All right. Or, or more correctly put, how did I put myself in a position to buy a house when I was 22? All right. So. I'm 22 years old. I just graduated from college. Um, I'm working. I'm making a decent income, but nothing close to what I at least I think I'm worth. <laughs> so, you know, I'm, I'm kind of in that that zone where a lot of people at the time where a lot of people feel like they're a little like, oh, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? And I knew from a really young age that I can't really work for someone long term because I have a pretty big ego <laughs> and I'm like, I can I can do this better. <laughs> Right. So, um, you know, I, I, I pretty much I leverage that job to, to save a little bit of money. I leverage the job itself and, and what they were paying me for a little bit to, to buy a piece of property. Basically, um, it verified my my income. Um, and I ended up buying that house with only two thousand dollars out of my own pocket. That, that includes the cost of renovations. Um, it doesn't include, of course, like sweat equity or anything, but. You know, considering you know all in the house was about one hundred and fifty thousand dollars, and I only had to put two thousand out of my own money into it to control, you know, what I was planning to make an income-producing asset. Um, it seemed like a good proposition for me. I kind of just had to figure out how to, you know, do it. Um, and what it came down to when, when I when you know at the time, I guess I didn't realize it, but looking back now you know, the thing that allowed me to do that was credit, right? And like, this is a topic that a lot of people talk about credit and your credit score and you got to get your credit score up and, you know, borrowing money, this and that. Um, I want to take a step back from that. You know, we can dive into, you know, the different factors that affect your credit score and how can you, you know, get this off of your credit report and, you know, blah, 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 blah. But, um, you know, take a step back for a second and, and think about what is credit on, like fundamentally, what is credit? Do you know what I'm saying? Like credit is your reputation. It's, it's, it's how people perceive you to be, how trustworthy you are, you know? So um, when, when you're thinking about applying for, for credit, as in what I'm saying, like when you think about someone trying to loan you money, think about your trustworthiness in receiving that money. Um, and that, that kind of sets the stage or the foundation for everything that comes to follow, you know? So a lot of people are like, yo, how do you, you know, how can I get a loan for a million dollars? You know, it's like, well, you know, can you handle a loan of $10,000? Can you handle a loan of $1,000? You know, are you past due on your credit card? Are you making all your payments on your student loans, on your on your car, on, on whatever debt that you might have occurred? You know what I'm saying? Like, why would you believe that you can manage a million dollars in debt if you couldn't manage a thousand dollars in debt? You know, so one of the first things that people really should focus on when they think about credit isn't necessarily the credit score. 
and all that. But fundamentally, what does credit mean? You know, and, and who are you as a person for people to lend you money? Because ultimately, at the end of the day, they're loaning you the money. They're not, you know, you're, people will say, it's my business or whatever. I guarantee you 99% of people, you're signing a personal guarantee on the majority of loans that you're taking out. You know, like, you know, we're talking about specific case, you know, here in America for mortgages, whatever, like 99% of the time, you're signing a personal guarantee, you know, so you're personally guaranteeing that loan. Um, and so it kind of falls on you at the end of the day. And that's why your track record is most important. So, you know, if you're thinking about, hey, I want to get into investing and I want to, um, you know, make my money work for me. It's like, well, first of all, is, does the money that you, is the money that you currently have working for you? Is the money that you're borrowing, you know, from your credit card or whatever working for you, you know? Like, you need to first get yourself into that position um, before someone is willing to, you know, to loan you massive amounts of money for you to, to do stuff with. Um, to, to get it a little more concrete, so this one in particular, this the first house that I bought, um, it was, I remember I, I, it was like about $2,000, you know, that's pretty much all I had at the time that I put in. Um, the rest of my down payment money, I borrowed it all from my sister, and it was the greatest investment scheme she ever took because I gave her half. Oh my God. <laughs> I gave her half of that building for um, the rest of the down payment money, but I also needed her at the time. So um, I love her for that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And both of us severely came up like severely. Uh, I don't know if severely is the right word, but we both really came up because of, of, of that partnership. You know what I'm saying? Like she had the money and I had the opportunity. We were able to team up and do something together. Um, so that's how I got the down payment. And then of course, not of course, but I got the rest of the money, the other 90 some percent, um, uh, from my, from my main lender, you know, um, and then renovation costs I borrowed on, on the value of it and paid that back. You know, the building now is worth almost double what we bought it for. So thank, thank the Lord on that one. Um, but you know, going back to the main point, um, I was able to, to buy that house because I put myself in a position from very early on where people were able to trust me with their money. All right. Now there's three people that lent me money for me to do that deal. You know, um, you, I mentioned my sister who obviously has known me for my whole life because <laughs> she's older than me. But, um, I guess through the ways that I acted growing up and everything that she's seen, she felt confident in giving me that money. That may not be the case for everybody, but at the end of the day, most businesses start, you know, with fools, friends, and family giving them money. Um, it's not usually institutional lenders. <laughs> uh, so, you know, you prove to the people around, and that's why I was saying credit is really about proving to the people around. If the people around you won't invest in you, why would someone who doesn't know you? You feel me? So, you know, really, really focus on, on yourself and, and on who you are as an individual. Are you trustworthy enough to receive that money? Um, or, or to do something beneficial with it. And if, if you are, then, then you should be paying your debts. You should have a decent credit score and you should be able to apply for additional credit if, if you need it to invest in whatever. Uh, so then beyond that, you know, when I was 16 years old, uh, you know, I opened up a bank account. And when I turned 18, I got my first credit card. I think like the week I turned 18, <laughs> I applied for my first credit card. And I had a perfect payment history on it. So by the time I graduated college, um, I guess four years later. Yeah. So I have four years of, of credit history of perfect credit history. So, you know, I got approved for a great loan at a great rate. Um, you know, and, and I ran with it. I saw the opportunity. I figured out that, Hey, you know, this is what my lender is willing to provide me. Let me talk to them and see if I can get a portion of my down payment from somewhere else. And then I can put myself in a position to buy the property, you know, and same thing with the renovation. You know, I had proved myself to someone. And they lent me the money and then I paid them back. <laughs> and uh, that's pretty much what it is, is, is credit is, 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 it is the credit score. And we, like I said, I'll go into that at another time, but you know, you got to take a step back for a second and think about, think about the fundamentals of shit. You know, like if, if I'm loaning you money, but the people around you won't, what does, what does that say about my decision-making abilities as a lender? You know, uh, it's not that people don't want to loan you money. It's that you have to prove yourself worthy of, 
of being lent that money because the only way lenders make money is by giving you their money. Okay, they're incentivized to lend you the money. You just have to put yourself in a position to get it. So um, that's that's pretty much the first video. Um, you know, that's how I bought my first house when I was 22. It wasn't the most detailed. I can go, I guess, deeper another time or whatever. But let me know what you guys, you know, some more specific topics that you guys want to talk about. I got like a list that I want to go over. But um, at least right now in the beginning, the more ideas, the better. Like I said, this is trying, I'm trying to be as raw as possible. Just this is what it is. It's nothing special. Um, appreciate it. Subscribe, whatever. Like, I'm out.